the first question is the difference between a process and a thread this might not be an interview question so to say but this is important to understand before we do a deep dive into thread before we really try to understand how powerful threads can be so a traditional definition of a process and a thread goes something like a process is something like a program which is an execution you have your secondary storage or your hard disk and we have all the programs stored over there whenever you start a chrome browser you're starting microsoft excel word whatever it gets loaded into your main memory or your ram and then whatever is running that is your process which is running essentially but a thread is called a part of a process so they are like different parts of the program which run simultaneously sharing resources so we will see in the form of a table what is the difference between these two but try to understand essentially what is the difference the process is it is loaded from your hard disk loaded into the main memory and it is running you are having microsoft excel you are listening to music on a chrome browser you are doing something on your terminal uh, you are trying to use your uh, emails using outlooks your emails are coming in so all of that is happening all of them are simple like separate processes that is going threads on the other hand that part of the program or the process what it means processes are like different people they are working on different tasks your youtube on a chrome browser is doing a different task outlook is trying to do, do a different task none of them are related none of them will interfere with each other but threads might interfere because threads are part of the program like you are working together on different tasks within the same process so when you are using microsoft word couple of things happens in the background like the very famous one is the spell check and the grammar check which happens it will automatically highlight things which is going on now the even more recent versions of microsoft excel are doing many more things even in powerpoint when i create presentations the moment i start typing they start giving me suggestions of the design how is this happening then and there in the real time it's threads threads are trying to achieve different task within the same process while you are editing while you are typing while you are creating other another thing which is happening in the background and they are trying to serve you in the real time in the moment okay so that is what thread and process mean let's also see one more example a more real life example suppose you and your friend are trying to make a salad okay this entire recipe that you will follow to create a salad is nothing but a process your entire process is to create a salad at the end of the day so that is why i can say salad making is a process but you and your friend are having different task in doing the salad for example you might be chopping the onions your friend might be chopping the cucumber you might pull in another friend who will try to create the dressing of the salad so it means that all of you are doing separate tasks independently which means all of you are doing separate independent task okay to create the salad so you are part of the same process which is the salad making process but you are working independently and doing the different tasks you might interfere because for example you are just having one knife and you are having only one peeler so you might have to do some sort of exchange like one has to wait for a knife until they are done with the chopping another person has to wait for the peeler once they are done with the peeling so there might be some kind of communication and interference in between and that is what the beauty of threads or the downside of thread also can be but that is fine but in the moment what we are trying to say is you your friend and your third friend you are just threads contributing towards the same process of making the salad so essentially the differences between process and thread goes by this first you have the definition like process is nothing but a program which is an execution and your thread is a lightweight unit of program execution because within the process only it is running like i gave the example of microsoft word the spell check or in powerpoint the designer option that is coming all of that is happening within the same process of you creating a ppt or you creating a word document and the second is the resource usage in in case of process the process will own up its own memory when microsoft excel is loaded it will have its own memory stack like the heap memory microsoft word will have its own now excel or word will not try to interfere with each other's memory they will have their own different memory stack mm -hmm. but in case of thread what they do is they share the memory because they are running within the same salad like i gave the example of the chopper peeler knife all of that so you are sharing the resources within the salad recipe only you are sharing resources amongst each other so that is why you are taking up less resources also you don't have separate knife for friend number 1 you don't have a separate knife for friend number 2 so you are sharing resources like threads are sharing the memory with other threads in a process so that is why the resource usage is less because the resource usage is less it is called lightweight also third is communication processes try to communicate like inter process communication which is costlier that is why it is called more expensive it will be costly because a process has to maintain so much of things it has to maintain its own you know the heap and then the stack registers all of that complex memory stuff inter thread communication is less expensive because a thread has only one thing of its own that is a stack the thread stack its own local memory nothing else anything it needs it will borrow it from the process so that is why it is less expensive and of course 
if something is more expensive requires more resources it will be having a more overhead to create creating more process you might have seen sometimes the system hangs when you try to launch too many applications why is the system hanging because each of them is launched as a different process creating more overhead but in case of threads this threads are essentially discovered or uh, threads actually came into the picture only to reduce the overhead only to make the system fast to improve the performance of the system only the threads have come into the picture so obviously their overhead will be less so these are the main points between the differences of a process and a thread let's move to the next question